what I was being paid. It's very interesting. Um, the very the began. I was think I was being paid 125 an episode. Um, Taraji was being paid 90. I offered to bring Taraji up to a favorite nation's position with me so that we could start negotiating because we had really great numbers. I think by the end of the first year, I may be wrong, but we were like 12 million something viewers or more than that. And Taraji and I were supposed to go in and negotiate from that point forward. But at the very height, all I was able to get was and in year six, $325,000 an episode, even though I wrote 10, 15 songs inside of the thing, never was given a producer's position, even though I redirected and rewrote most of those scenes and helped all of those actors and acted in the capacity of a producer. The last storyline for the whole thing for the year six was me, right. but never received the compensation as a producer or any of those things that are that's immediately given or asked for by agents of white actors. You may ne never see, probably will never see numbers like that for any TV show again. That make this action that much more important. Well, the, the thing that makes it important is the fact that for over 20 years there hasn't been a contract between SAG and the agents and I think the agents had a free run to do everything they need, they wanted to do. I think this is about equanimity now, and it's about accountability. It's about being a whistleblower. I know that in coming and speaking out against CAA and all of the relationships that CAA has, that this might be a death blow to um, me being able to secure work inside of that. But that's why we just start, we started my Holly dot app. Uh, the whole thing is to bring a new Hollywood is, is accountability. It's, it's, a, it's time for change.